Back to the hardwood now, the high school hardwood. One guy to keep an eye on in the Elite Eight this weekend is Smoky Hill Junior Lorenzo Contreras. As Eric Christensen tells us, he has an ability to create both on and off the court. Lorenzo Contreras is a big reason why Smoky Hill is one of the best basketball teams in the state. He's a, a fiery competitor. <laughs> Zoe leads the buffs and steals and assists. He was born to ball. Just from my youngest memory, I, I remember I had a ball in my hand. I just love the high speed, the passion that everybody plays with, and I just like I like being on a team where everybody everybody looks out for each other. Lorenzo's passion doesn't end here on the basketball court. He's also a published author. He's written a children's book that reached number one on Amazon. Sometimes Sammy fell sad and thought, can I be a superhero? The book is called Sammy the Super Snail, Hero of the Garden. It was a summer project. I was, I was sitting in my room. I was thinking. I always liked writing, so English has always been my favorite class in school. And I just decided, you know, let me give it a try. It tells the story of a too small, too slow snail that has a giant dream. But Sammy knew being a snail was hard sometimes. He was slow and didn't have big muscles like his heroes. Throughout the story, Sammy always makes a difference in, in everything he does. He makes a difference in his garden, and he just has a positive impact on everybody he meets, which I feel like any kid can inherit that trait. I have a seven-year-old and three-year-old daughters. They liked it. Um, you know, they just enjoyed it and, uh, you know, got, got, got the moral of the stories that size and, you know, shape and, and, and physical limits have nothing to do with you and achieving your goals. Sammy really wanted to help. Zoe's message to kids is admirable and he thinks it could help him and his teammates as well. I feel like if everybody had Sammy the Super Snail's mentality, then we, we wouldn't have lost a single game this year. Lessons learned from a too small snail just might lead the big bad Buffaloes to a first ever state championship. In Aurora, Eric Christensen, CBS Sports Colorado.